All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So this fake card was sent to me from our friend Alexis. Uh, sent to me over Skype, and I was like, sure, I didn't really have a fake card picked out for this week, and sure, I, you know, I totally love doing uh, fake cards of my friends, because, you know, it's, it's a little bit more personal than just some random person I don't know. So with that, we can keep in mind and see where she comes from with this card. So this is Planet Destroyer Reaper the Cunny? Cunny? Okay, Reaper the Cunny. You know, it's like, damn, you're a planet destroyer. You're the reaper. You, you reap planets. The cunny, the cunny, the cunny, cunny, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, it is a dark, it's definitely level 12, all of them stars, all right. Fiend, effect monster, zero attack, zero defense. I mean, I mean, it's not my favorite level 12, dark, fiend, effect monster, zero attack, and zero defense, if you know what I mean. Ultimate Nightmare. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and look at this effect. So hopefully it's, it has a great ass effect, because zero attack and zero defense, it's like, hmm. Start it off. This card's original offense is always treated as 10,000. 10,000 booty? Really? 10,000. See, 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 when people make these fake cards, they get a little bit ridiculous. 10,000 defense. Okay. You know, hopefully uh, I have some way of getting rid of this monster because 10,000 defense, I don't think I'll be attacking over that anytime soon. You know, I'm going to have to fucking equip a moon mirror shield because hell to my fucking mouth. No. Can't be Utopia Lightning over that shit. Like, goddamn, 10,000 booty. So clearly you summon this in defense mode. Uh, it cannot be normal summon slash set. Okay, well, you still don't have to worry about you just, you know, tributing two monsters and setting this and then big old booty I run into and probably die. You know, <laughs> if I attack with anything less than 2,000, if you tribute if you tribute and set this card and I ran into it, I'd probably die. Like, all right. Uh, you can only special summon this card from your hand, graveyard, or deck. What? Okay. How do you activate this effect to special summon it? When it's in the deck, it doesn't make any sense. You know, this card has to activate. You know, you got a special summon. You, you know, you just, oh, inherent summon from my hand. And, you know, summon from my graveyard. But how do you just summon from your deck? You're just like, oh, I'm going to, you know, summon this monster that's in my deck. Oh, and let me just, bam, summon, you know? Like, that's weird. That's weird. Uh, by paying 10,000 life points from your opponent. From your opponent. You know, it can already switch another way. So, your opponent, your opponent pays. Your opponent pays for you to special summon this card. Oh, yeah. Now, the whole 10,000 life point thing is kind of iffy, you know? Uh, how are you going to get your opponent's life points that high? Like, are you actually going to play, like, gift card and, of course, upstart, you know? It's, it's kind of odd. It's kind of odd that you have to pay 10,000 of your opponent's life points to special summon this card. Okay. But, 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 they cannot hit zero by this effect, all right? So, they can't do it. They can't do it. So, if your opponent's exactly 10,000, you special summon this. They cannot hit zero with this. You cannot do that, you know? But... It's still 10,000 of their life points. So, what are you going to, like, heal them to, like, 11,000, special summon this by paying 10,000 of their life points. They're at 1,000 left, summon, like, a fucking Heartland Dra Drago, and then attack them directly again. You know? Or burn them with, you know, with, uh, what's that fire card where it's, like, I think it's, like, your opponent takes 1,000, you take 500. I forgot the name of that fucking old-ass spell card. Tremendous fire. Thank you. Thank you. Tremendous fire. Like, okay. But 10,000 of your opponent's life points to special summon this. Sure, Alexis. Uh, once per turn, you can have your opponent's life points, and if you do, double your current life points. Okay, so you, once again, 11,000, you special summon this, they drop to 1,000, use your effect, you have your opponent's life points, and double your life points, because why the fuck not? Make a cowboy, bam, game. Sure, 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 you know? Okay. Uh, when a monster declares an attack or activates its effect, you can negate that effect, and if you do, your opponent gains 1,000 life points. Okay, well, I, I mean, it blocks an attack even though you have 10,000 defense. So I seriously doubt they'll be attacking you, but I guess you're supposed to protect from other monsters too. Uh, mostly it'll be negating the effect because, unless this card is not affected by card effects or something like that, I'm probably going to castell you away so that you can just negate me. You know? uh, I'm assuming that it's supposed to be two. You know? uh, it says you can only use this effect once per turn. Shouldn't it be, like, once per turn during either player's turn? When a monster declares an attack or an effect is activated, a monster effect is activated, you can negate the effect. Uh, it's weird, really. It, uh, weird wording. It really is. You negate the effect, and if you do, it gains a thousand life points. You're going to use the effect once per turn. So, I just pretty much bait you, and then hit you with a monster effect. And I'm, I'm really glad this card. There is no protection, so I, you know, Regeki, Dark Hole, whatever, you know, Castell, bait you, you know. There's, there's a lot of outs to this, a lot of outs to play. The problem is, is that I'm not even sure if I'm going to live, because 
depending on when you summon this card, and then you have my life points to increase your orbs, I might not have too much left, you know? I might not have too much left, so... Uh, I might not even get a turn. You could usually just special summon this, have my life points, ha gain, uh, you know, double your life points, and then just do some way of burning me. Game, GG, you know? It's kind of really sacky. It really is. Like, this would be like a kind of cure, burn, game kind of thing. So, okay. But, uh, I guess you could block from a Castell who's trying to spin you away. Uh, and then, when your opponent gains life points, you gain the amount times two. Okay, so when you negate their effect and they gain a thousand life points, you would gain two thousand. I guess uh, it just seems like it's just this card, just this huge division of life points. You just drop your opponent's life points and then just increase yours. You have their life points, double yours. You negate theirs, they gain a thousand, but you gain two thousand. You know, this is going to be this humongous gap. Uh, and then the last effect: if your opponent's, uh, I mean, if your life points are a hundred thousand, you win the duel. You're not gonna get to a hundred thousand. <laughs> like that, 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 that's crazy. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that before. You know, I, I think I've seen people do duels for fun where they start off at like a hundred thousand light points, but I don't think I've ever seen anybody in Yu-Gi-Oh ever get to a hundred thousand light points. But hey, if you get it, you win the duel. I mean, if anything, if it should be, if you get to a hundred thousand light points, you win the match because god damn, you got to a hundred thousand light points. Like, fuck it. If you have, if you have a hundred thousand light points, you, you deserve to win. Because clearly, I fucked up somewhere. Because <laughs> you got 100,000 life points. No. Uh, I, I guess you're supposed to keep this on the field. And over time, you're going to keep, you know, you know, having your opponent's life points, doubling yours, having, doubling, having, doubling. So eventually you'll get to 100,000. You know? But still, it's just... Like, the duel doesn't even need to last that long. Like I said, I would just do something sacky. You know? I would gift card you. You know? Upstart you or whatever. You know? Especially some of this when... Uh, when you have 10,000 life points, but you won't hit zero, have your life points, and, and do it like a minimum, you know, even if it's just, you know, the bare minimum, like, I'd say maybe like, like 11,000, you know, I just gift card you once, you're 11,000, especially some of this, by dropping your, you know, by have, making you pay 10,000 life points, you're at 1,000 left, use my effect, have yours, and double mine, you're at 500, and burn you with some kind of card, you know, maybe even go into a cowboy or whatever, you know, instant feature Norton, Norton, summon a four, bam, you know, cowboy, GG. Something. It would, just, it would just be sacky, you know? It, it's not about that whole, you know, increasing your life points to 100,000 for to win the duel. It's about, you know, cutting your life, your opponent's life points in half, you know? Making them pay that 10,000, cutting their life points in half, and then doing something else, you know? So, it's, ugh, I don't know. I'm not sure I like this card. It's kind of it's kind of crazy in that, you know, 10,000 booty, like, you can out it. You can out this card. Like, it's not that difficult. Either bait it with another monster effect, hit it with a trap, hit it with a spell, you know? Um, I believe the summon is inherent, but I believe you still pay the cost of the life points, so your you your opponent would make you pay the ten thousand special summon this, and then you probably wouldn't even have the life point you yeah, you probably wouldn't even have the life points to hit him with a solemn strike or a solemn warning at that point. You just pay ten thousand life points to summon this. So you could get rid of it, you know. There's nothing protecting it, but I'm just saying you might not get another turn, so I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, tell me what you guys think about Planet Destroyer Reaper the Cunny in the comment section below. So thank you, Alexis, for sending me this card. You know, uh, the card art is nice. You know, the card art is not too Yu-Gi-Oh-ish. It kind of looks like a Prophecy Destroyer, where all of a sudden they kind of look like Konami took a art card art of a Magic card and slapped it on a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Just way too realistic for Yu-Gi-Oh. That's what it kind of looks like. But uh, I mean, he even kind of looks like uh, like if they did like an upgrade of Prophecy Destroyer or whatever. He has a scythe and everything. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Cop Friday. Of course, I'll be back next Friday with another Fake Cop to look at. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.